Fear and misery remain the predominant themes for mining exploration investment through the first quarter of 2013, with a total of zero IPOs completed on the venture exchange during the quarter. We asked mercenary geologist Mickey Fulp for his assessment of current market conditions. State of the mining business, at least in North America, is not very good, um, especially the juniors in North America. Uh, what's happened is mining companies worldwide have, in my opinion, focused on growth over the last 10 years, let's say, and I am increasingly convinced that the mining business is not a growth industry, it's value industry. So hopefully we're going to see a change, a paradigm shift, uh, and it will lead to a more healthy exploration mining business. Folk thinks the focus on low-grade assets over the past several years must change. Uh, what's happened is uh, companies, because of this idea that they need to grow reserves, grow production, maintain production, have focused more and more on lower grade and harder to extract deposits, and it's come back to bite them. They have not performed up to shareholder expectations. And so what we need now is a focus on value, on high margin deposits versus the economy of scale with low margin deposits. Despite his overall muted outlook for the sector, Fulp remains bullish on uranium and copper. In the mining sector, my message is probably a monotonous metronome right now. I remain a uranium permeable for the mid to long term. And I think that's starting to come to pass. We are seeing increasing mergers and acquisitions in the uranium business. And I look for that cont to continue, especially what I see, uh, foresee is a consolidation of the uranium exploration development and production scenario in the Western US. I think what we're going to end up with uh, are a couple of companies. We may have one or two conventional uranium miners and one or two, perhaps three, uh, ISR in situ recovery uranium miners. Uh, the economy of scale, putting deposits together and building a bigger and better uranium company, I think is a viable option in Southwest U.S. at this stage. In particular, Fulp views Strathmore Minerals as an outstanding prospect and potential merger or acquisition candidate. I would say that uh, on the merger and acquisition front in the States that Strathmore Minerals is a very good candidate and I don't know how this will turn out. I have uh, no feeling except uh, perhaps that this could occur in the short to mid term. Uh, it's got two of the biggest deposits, the best conventional uranium deposits in the southwest U.S. Uh, and I think that they could enter into a strategic business relationship, some sort of combination, a joint venture, uh, perhaps a takeout in, in that time frame. With 120 million shares outstanding and trading in the 25-cent range, Strathmore is now significantly undervalued, according to Fulp. Absolutely. Strathmore at this point is undervalued, in my opinion, with something on the order of 120 million shares outstanding and trading now at something less than 25 cents. Uh, do the math there, and I'm doing it in my head, but that's about a $30 million market cap. And with uh, well on the order of uh, between Roca Honda and the Gas Hills uh, approaching uh, a geological, if you will, mineral inventory, perhaps 70 million pounds, uh, completely undervalued at this stage. For more on Financial Profiles, be sure to visit our website at financialprofilesmedia.com. For Financial Profiles, thanks for watching.